colorectal cancer can cause uh, bleeding from the rectum, or so-called rectal bleeding. So when you look and you can see the blood uh, in or on your stools, uh, it can cause a change in bowel habit. You used to move your bowels regularly once a day, and now you're having more trouble. Um, it can uh, a change in the shape or appearance of the stool that's new. Uh, and uh, crampy abdominal discomfort that's new, or for example, uh, you're found to have a low blood count or an anemia for which there's no good explanation. All of those are features, symptoms and, of uh, possible colorectal cancer. And if a person, uh, especially if they're 50 years or older, but if an adult has any one of those symptoms, then they need to get it checked out. Well, a colonoscopy uh, is basically an examination of the lining of the rectum, that's the lower part of the colon, and the colon with a tube with a light on the end. The procedure itself takes only 20, 25 minutes to do, but you can appreciate that you need to clean your bowels out the day before. So a person uh, uh, planning to have a colonoscopy would have to clean their bowels out the day before. We would give some instruction about what type of laxative to take. They would drink clear fluids the day before, and then they would come uh, uh, to, let's say, the hospital uh, the next day, get a little intravenous injection of a sedative to make them slightly relaxed, and then the procedure would be done. Then, because they've had some sedation, they'll need to have someone drive them home. But let's suppose you're 50 years or older and don't have any of these symptoms. That, so you, you have no problem with your bowels, you're just fine then what you need to do is get screened for colorectal cancer the same way as women get screened for breast cancer they go and get a mammogram um, screening means doing the test when you have no problems with your bowels no symptoms at all so the fecal occult blood test is a test that a person does at home it's a little kit and you take a small scraping uh, from uh, two, uh, two parts of a stool on three separate days so you have three uh, separate little scrapings you put them in this little envelope, close the envelope, and you either take it back to the lab or mail it. The lab will test the stool samples to make sure there, there isn't any microscopic blood. If there's microscopic blood there, that is, you haven't seen any evidence of blood, but it's there, then you need a colonoscopy to have it checked out to make sure that there isn't a cancer causing that microscopic bleeding. For people that have an increased risk because they have one or more close relatives who've had a diagnosis of colon cancer, so it would be a parent or brother or sister or a child, then those people are recommended to, to go straight to have a colonoscopy. That's the preferred screening test in those people at increased risk. And um, one of the difficulties we have or challenges we have with colon and rectal cancer is there's a he hesitancy in our cultures to talk about this part of the body. People don't want to talk about the rectum, they don't want to talk about the colon, they don't want to talk about bowel movements. It's that part of the body people are not comfortable about socially, you know. And whereas people are much more um, uh, comfortable now talking about breast cancer, men and women can talk about breast cancer, men and women can talk about prostate cancer, but there's still this hesitancy of all of us. It's a cultural phenomenon. We really have to get past it mm -hmm. and get more comfortable talking about it uh, and get more comfortable talking about the need for screening because people have just been so hesitant in partly because we've been so reluctant is our screening levels are way lower than they are for breast uh, cancer for example 70 percent or so of women 60 to 70 percent of women get screened for breast cancer but for colorectal it's less than 20 percent for men and for women it's less than 20 percent there's a huge gap and so a big piece it has to do with this raising of awareness and kind of trying to diminish this sense of discomfort that we have about talking about this disease because screening works.